One of the things that was the most uh, intriguing to me that I'm very hopeful about is a project from Brazil. And this is a project that's using DMT for depression. They have taken, in Brazil, from the indigenous use, then moved the ayahuasca into a scientific context, a scientific medical ritual, you could say, and now they've moved it just to the DMT. In vape pens are shorter. So it's, it's this evolution that I think is respectful of the indigenous use, and the results are as good as ayahuasca. So that, that's been tremendously exciting for me. Ketamine combined with therapy, there's a group that does ketamine-assisted couples therapy. Ketamine has been approved without therapy, and it's suboptimal, and the results fade, and, but you gotta buy more ketamine. But more and more people are understanding, if they're about the patients, that it's better to combine ketamine with therapy. The other part that is really exciting, you might be surprised to hear me say it, but it's non-psychedelic psychedelics. For sort of traumatic brain injury, for neuroplasticity, um, for cluster headaches, for example, you don't need the psychedelic component necessarily. We, that's what we, has been demonstrated with Bromo LSD, non-psychedelic version of LSD, and it still helps.